The first day of November came in with a bang, bringing much needed rain to the valley. Snow falling in the Sierra and creating a mess on the roads. We've got team coverage tonight. Our Devin Truby is in the Sierra and dealt with those rough road conditions. But first, Chief Meteorologist Monica Woods is tracking conditions as we speak, Monica. We are still looking at areas of snow coming down in the Sierra. A few isolated showers as well through parts of the foothills. Most of this is starting to clear, though. For the valley, we've got a beautiful shot of the moon right now. It is getting downright cold, though. You can see areas along I-80 experiencing some snow as well as Highway 50. We've seen periods of chain controls. Devin's going to touch much more on this, though. South of Highway 50, most of this becoming very isolated in nature, and that's the trend that we're following into tomorrow. We still have our winter storm warning up, though, through much of the day. 8 p.m. is when we see that expire for the higher elevations. Lower elevations, it's going to be a winter weather advisory still going into our Wednesday. That's where we're going to see the main effects of this lingering storm system will be in the Sierra heading into tomorrow. Temperatures meantime have cooled significantly. That cold air coming in strong for today, down by about 5 to 10 degrees for the valley and the foothills. We are 20 to 25 degrees cooler tonight for the Sierra than last night. So lows are well into the teens overnight tonight. We're in the 20s right now for the Sierra, and that's certainly cold enough to snow. 40s for the foothills, but Placerville, we're already down to 41 degrees. Our snow line moving down to 3,500 feet tonight. We're at 49 degrees for Sacramento on our way to overnight lows in the upper 40s to right around the mid 40s. Again, the timeline showing areas of snow picking right back up tomorrow morning. We'll see spotty morning commute showers. Most of this, though, again, confined to the foothills and Sierra, but we're not done yet. In fact, for the evening commute, some isolated showers and thunderstorms in the forecast heading into the Wednesday outlook. Plus, more wet weather for the weekend, guys. Mm, so let's go back out to the Sierra tonight. That snow created some major traffic headaches. Our Devin Truby was caught in that mess. Devin, you were stuck in traffic for hours. Walk us through your experience tonight. Laura, Chris, we were. It was a parking lot out there, and we've seen it all tonight. Snow, sleet, hail. This is the first break in the action that we've gotten, and we were with all those drivers out there on eastbound 80, going only a mile in 90 minutes. About an hour and a half, two hours. That's how long it was taking drivers, whether you were heading east or west on 80 between Alta and Blue Canyon. Westbound traffic closed at one point to trucks. Eastbound closed for everyone due to spinouts and collisions. That's what brought Darlene Cooper out from Reno to pick up a friend involved in a crash. They weren't sure they were going to be able to get his car out tonight, so we wanted to make sure we could get him and he was home safe. Darlene knows all too well the dangers of driving in these conditions. A few years ago, she flipped a vehicle and now always takes it slow, but she couldn't say the same for her fellow drivers. Crazy, <laughs> crazy drivers. A lot of people don't know how to drive in the snow. The two tow truck drivers that pulled their friend out say drivers seem to have forgotten their snow etiquette. They weren't prepared for it, but at the same time, we're on the side of the road and people aren't moving over, so that's a constant struggle with that too as well. The drivers have already taken seven calls in just the early evening hours. And everyone we spoke to tonight, drivers, tow truck drivers, they said they just weren't prepared for these type of conditions so early on in this season. Laura, Chris. Yeah, a difficult night. Devin, a great reminder to have a full tank of gas, your mobile devices fully charged, and of course, warm clothes if you are heading up that hill, as we saw in your case, and the people in your story. Anyone could be stuck up there for hours. Get back safe, Devin. Thank you.